Doors open. Behold, a sudden blue R arrives. Good morning. Hello, Cupcake. So yes, we are here to do works on a blue vehicle today. What exactly are we doing to your car? We have, in fact, some meaty EBC red stuff pads to replace the ruined broken pads. By broken, you mean? Wasted by the knob bug ring and the knock hill, I Yeah. Just the knob bug ring and knock hill, but... Aye, but... But hey. we, shall, we shall see more. Donathan's <laughs> on the agenda and Cadwell, at the very least. So yeah, there might be other cars, more than just the TVRs arriving, such as this bad boy. Just why it's on the day. So we're going to go look at the brakes on it, which, being a Golf R of new, new age vintage, isn't a simple job. No. No. We have a laptop. We've got a laptop. When you need a laptop to do brakes, you know you're way, way, way too far in the future. in the air. We have one fully <coughs> erected golf R <laughs> without wheels. So what are we planning on doing here? Brake pass time. Right, fronts or so fronts. Right. We have these lovely ABC red stuff pads to go on. Why are we starting with the fronts? Because the rears are a bollock. So you need to it has a electronic handbrake. Right. Which uh, you need to rewind with VCDS which is a computer tool. The fronts, you just unwind, right. push the piston back in, pop in the pads, there you go. So it's nice and easy. Right. I, there's a wee bit of me that has the fear about starting with the easy thing. And I'm Aye. getting all optimistic about the backs and yeah. the thing and thing, but... Nah, I'll be fine. Right. So, these are the fronts. They are. Hoggy, okay, why, why are they not four pots? They're not four pots because then it'd be better than Audi. Specifically, the RS3. Like, and genuinely? They, they downgrade the brakes in this. So no, they don't I'm assuming rowdy. that's the reason, mate. You can ask Volkswagen. So I take it the RS. <coughs> the RS3 has floating um, discs with some many more pistons. The right. The TTRS kit actually is oh. straight six for the win. Oh. Um, the TTRS kit's an upgrade for this car. Right. Okay. But like every Volkswagen part, it's got tax. Aye. Right. So these are what twin pots? <coughs> Single. Really? Great yeah. start, actually. I thought it was a wee couple, couple of the cheeky ones back there. Cool. But to be fair, they're pretty good. I mean, I took it to Knock Hill, had it at the rubber ring, and the stock, it's completely stock now. Stock right. fluid pads and discs. Cool. And uh, it didn't really toast. I mean, at Knock Hill, we had about four or five laps before it cooked, which is extraordinary. So, mm -hmm. not bad at all. Hopefully, these pads in the fluid will give it the longevity it needs. Aye, just uh, that's the one. They're not actually completely gone. Oh mate. They're not far off. Ah no, they're definitely due replacement, but I thought they were like totally toast. <sighs> Dude, it's not so much a toast. See the heat fractures in it? Yeah. Yeah. No, they need done. Uh, and there's the wheel sound so. Oh. What you could do is just cable tie that old pad out of the way and you never have to worry about the wheel sensor coming in. Ah, uh, that's, that's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So when the pad wheels to a certain level, the sensor yeah, makes contact with the disc. Basically, yeah. So, yeah. So now we are wrestling with the with this clip. Can get the guy off. So for the benefit of viewers, we are currently trying to remove the wheel sensor, which incidentally is no longer attached to the brake pad. <laughs> Due to a slight accident. <laughs> what my suggestion was is we just like put this guy in the new pad. But this guy is far too much of a perfectionist for that. Hi. So what we're going to have to do instead is destroy my fingers, getting the uh, getting the clip off, which. Uh... 
So, now that I'm in here with a smaller screwdriver, it does what I'm wanting it to do. Stick the pin in, pull it towards you and you need a click. And then once it goes click, you just pull the guy out. Like so. Eee. The outside explanation of that is, screwdriver goes down, and the retention clip goes up. Very cool. That's how it comes out. Right, let's pad up. Hello again. So we're now on to the back pads. Um, calipers, rewind, VCDS process has been done. So we're now going to take the caliper off. And uh, I know this channel is basically all about TVRs and a lot of you have TVRs. The two chaps have TVRs, but this is why I bought a Volkswagen because it just works and the wing mirrors don't fall off. <laughs> oh, Pearl. All right, mate. You got any glue for my TVR? <laughs> tip wing mirrors. Oh, oh, tip wing mirrors. Why, why, why are we in Yorkshire? What's the Blackpool accent? I don't know. It's like Lancaster. Lancaster, that's it. Lancaster. Pants a bit of I've back to Yorkshire. Yeah. Ping. I'm always waiting for it. That's a satisfying ping of success. I'm waiting for it to hit your eyes. Aye, it normally does. Do it like that. Yeah. Oh, the Volkswagen won't attack me, mate. It likes me. Alright, so as you can see, that's how you take out the spring clip or anti rattle. What's next? So now we are going to attack the most stupidly positioned bolt known to mankind. Uh, the two bolts in the carrier that hold the caliper in. One of them actually runs directly where the brake line is. Or I should say the brake line runs directly where it is. Oh, something like that. Would you... It's all good, I thought I'd left the tail round there. Turns out the only tail in the operation is me. I like how when, you, when the big man actually does try and find stuff by like feel rather than looking, he'll shut his eyes. As if, to say, as if to say, why even bother with these devices? <laughs> we'll just shut them down all together and I do it blindfolded. Divert all of your resource to the things that work. Lunch, eh? Burger King. Burger King. I think we can get them responsive. If we say Burger King enough. Aye. Do you know what, Tommy? I'm really enjoying myself. This is, this is a great passion. But what would really improve my friend is a Burger King. Burger King? Yeah. Mm. One of our fabulous fresh cooked products with only British beef. For a reasonable £5.69 for a regular meal. £5.69? Mm. That is reasonable. It's very reasonable. Tell me more. That's really it, isn't it? That is it, aye, aye. Dirty burger. Dirty big stinking burger. Ah, dirty big arse destroying burger. Yeah, that's just what the two of us need is more aye. arse pain. <laughs> Just to clarify, that's because we were drinking, not, <laughs> not because we've gave each other arse pain. I mean, we could have. Yeah. Ah, here we go again with this. <laughs> the caliper is supposedly fully rewound, and yet. The, now, uh, to clarify, have you fully rewound it manually, or is the handbrake extractor fully rewound? No, I wound it right back, so. Oh. Oh, f off, you fing thundercut. So the pads are now installed, and we're now going to take the calipers out of maintenance mode using VCDS. We can see it's finished correctly. Jobs are good. So, the brake pads have all been changed. The next stage we're going to look at is a full fluid flush. However, we are not putting in normal fluid in this instance. We are going to go for... Moto RBF 600, which is a DOT4 based brake fluid with a much higher boiling point than regular old DOT4. Hi Moto, sponsor us please. Seeing as how this car does see track use, it's not the worst idea in the world to throw in some better fluid. Right, so the first things first, we've got this off. We'll probably start seeing a trickle of this coming out of the mouth. Normally, if you're just doing a bleed, you would bleed the top and uh, take it through until you don't see any air bubbles. In this instance, though, 
we are going to do a full flush. So there is no point in pumping through a litre of reservoir until you get to the new fluid. So before we go any further here, we're going to siphon out the original reservoir. A bit of good practice, because this isn't my car. Uh, normally I would just spray dot four everywhere and not really give a toss because it's just going onto a bare engine block. However, modern plastics don't appreciate dot four. So what we've done is we've taken the cap off. I'm going to fish out the filter from the top of this guy. In a moment. And then we're going to run in this and siphon out all of that old unnecessary dot four. For insurance purposes, this is a completely bone stock uh, engine bay. I don't see any upgrades here whatsoever. No, totally uh, as it left the factory. Yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. You've not got a stock car. Right. Oh, take the horrible out of me. Boost. Boost. Mm. Boost. 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 Anyway. Where is your lovely new fluid? Not sponsored by Motul. Not RBF sponsored by 600. Motul. We have absolutely no affiliation with Motul 600. The best for your car. At all. I'm going to ask a potentially silly question here. Yes. Funnel? Um, if you're a gay. Okay. Which... Right, you've heard this challenge and I'm getting this in video. Aye, no pressure or anything. If just, you're gay, you say. Just stick, just stick the camera right up my hole. <laughs> Lovely. Obviously it has to strain through this wee yellow filter first, so don't go balls out just because you have an empty reservoir. That'll take a wee while. This side's a bit more of a tricky prospect. I've got to use the open end of the spanner simply due to access and going at an angle. But yeah, we are ready. I want five pumps. Oh wow, that's a lot harder. One. That's good, isn't it? Um, what are you what? Whist what are you whistling? Nothing. Just so people know, the music you have heard in many of the videos beforehand has been done by him. Aye, it was the meatloaf. Aye. Oh, so it was meatloaf you were whistling? Aye. Just so we know for copyright reasons, we'll need you actually credit. Oh, aye, because YouTube will hear it and then that'll be whistling. I'm whistling this app. Right. Very slowly because of the absolute absence of that. It only needs to be given like an eighth of a thumb, mate, and you're bleeding. Uh, yeah, mm. I'm, boy. I'm gonna go away no, because I'm getting no movement in the pedal here. The fluid is going out, man. Nah. Maybe it's just not loose enough. It needs to be a wee bit more than that. That's better. That's one. Two. Three. Uh, four. Right, four down. I could just stop if that makes it better. Seriously, man. I've seen less buttons than a tele remote. <laughs> 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 <That's not laughs> <funny. laughs> so I presume, Mr. Overdrive, if you had your car in a garage getting this done, for the benefit of the knowledge of the viewers, this is a 
model year 16 golfer, so it's like a year old just, and the brake fluid is totally indistinguishable from the new stuff. Yeah. Which makes this really difficult, so I presume if you're in a garage and your car's three or four years old, there would be a difference, a noticeable, perceivable colour difference or something. Yeah, normally the fluid will start to cloud a bit. Oh, I've seen the fluid that come out of your TVR. No, that's not clouding, mate, that's just all out placing it for engine oil. Uh, I'll make some interesting chat now because this is monotonously boring when you're in the bottle. Yeah. We have two very interesting stickers on the windscreen of this vehicle. I can see the one here, this green. That's got something to do with toll roads. Germany, specifically. Yeah. That is an Umfeld plaquette. Did you say again, yeah. slower? No. Okay. Um, it's a sort of. You know how London's got a low emission zone? Yeah. You're only allowed in two capital German cities if you have one of these, and it's a green car, which they've all found for most cars. Anything that's a view for a compliant, I think. Um, so that allows you to drive in German cities. If you don't have it, you get fined. It cost five euros, I think. I went to a Volkswagen dealer in Stuttgart. And the other one at the window is the Swedish motorway tax. No, not Swedish, sorry, Swiss. Um, Where is that? So, so you can drive on the motorways in Switzerland. Where is it? Hey, where is it? Switzerland? No, the sticker here. <laughs> <laughs> In front of the dash cam. Alright. Oh, it's called a vignette. Oh yeah, let's be good. Lasts a whole year, basically. Which I know that both of them sound a bit sh but when you get to Italy or France, they charge you like a million pounds to use the toll roads. We went from Lake Maggiore to Geneva and it cost more in tolls than it did in fuel. Which is an achievement in a car like that. Hmm. So that's us. The bottle is empty. Can you pump a few more times so we get it below the max? And then we're done. Well, yeah. This is maximum air con with the windows open. It's been a long day, Aye, okay. two hours sleep. So we've took the car out, we've put it in the deck, we're just about ready to go for the test drive. The first thing you want to do after d out with your brakes in any way, shape or form, pump the pedal. Yes, I there have will been be doing slack. Exactly that for a few minutes now, Aye. and it was spongy and yes, make sure you Marvelous. pump your brakes. The point is, you've just put all of the piston right back into its casing, chucked in two new pads and then left it. Even with bleeding the brakes, you're bleeding to atmosphere. You're not putting proper pressure on them. So it will take a good few pumps of proper brake force pressure, take up that slack and give you brakes again. So yes, pump them. Now that that's done. Should we go a drive now, right? Let's go a drive please, Nigel. <laughs> Pads belted in. Jesus, the seatbelt pretension has just kept on. <laughs>
pads are in. That'll do. Aye, they, they definitely stop a bit more violently than the standard pads did. That smells good. Yep. Acceleration in this thing is relentless. Ah, it's not a slow car. No. Modern technology and all that jazz. <laughs> nah, Volkswagen I want to watch with this thing, I adore it. It's not a very exciting car, It'd be up, apart from the obvious ridiculous turn of speed. But um, it is very, very good at what it does. Do you know what it's like? You know when you get a really, really good fridge? Like one of the magic fridges that has like an ice dispenser and water dispenser and stuff built in here. Aye. It's just a fridge, but it's a lot more than a fridge. Aye. That is what the Golf R is. Aye. It, it satisfies you, but to a point, because at the end of the day it's still a fridge. Aye, I mean, when we're out in your TVR, your TVR has got a thousand times more character than this car. It's much better sounding than this car, much better looking than this car. Much more roofless than this car. Aye, by which it doesn't have a roof. Aye, it, well, it does have a roof, it's just made of cloth and can go away. Or it's not made of cloth, it's made of carbon fibre. Yeah, carbon fibre, aye. No, it's great, it's awesome. It's even better now, it's incredibly potent brakes. Aye, they'll do. That's the bed in complete. My eyeballs can now be reattached to the sockets. Uh, probably, but whether or not we can go in and do it, show up and say, look, guys, we've we've worked hard today, and all we really want is a few laps. Aye, a few laps. No a few laps than, just to just to get it out of our systems. No more than two or three hours. Aye, just just the bare just the essentials. <laughs> 